Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a bridal look um, focusing especially on those of us who have hooded eyes. Um, this time of year is my favourite time of year and I realise on my channel, although I've had it over a year, I've not ever done a bridal look. So I'm going to do a series um, of these just to show those with different sorts of um, maybe skin textures, eye shapes, eye colours, um, thin lips, full lips, how to achieve that kind of special look for your special day. So if you're getting married this year and you want to practice your makeup before the big day and you also have hooded eyes and you want to learn some really cool tips and tricks then please keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, do not forget to click that subscribe button because we'd love to have you back. Okay, let's get on with the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop on the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. So I'm just gonna use my Garnier Five Second Blur. This is really good primer to just smooth and just fill in those pores. I'm going to apply this with a brush first. Now Francoise Nars says you really should apply this with your hands um, but it's just too messy for me. So I'm going to pop this on and I've got way too much on just to say <laughs> already I can feel it so we could be here for a while blending. I don't put foundation on my eyelids because I have oily eyelids um, I find it makes your eyeshadow crease a lot more. So I'm now going to use the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion and I'm just going to pop that on my lids now. So while my skin settles down, I'm now going to go and take the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Brow Lift I'm using. I'm using the shade Brooks. I really like this. To me, it's exactly the same as the Anastasia, um, is that the brow, well, I've got it here actually. Uh, mm, 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 brow definer, exactly the same as that I find on the pencil um, I just find the spoolie just a little bit different makes no odds to me really but very nice alright brows are done now and I'm looking at these are my main two actually palettes that I use I made these up from MAC I am going to go back to basics and use some shades here that I've actually not used in a while I'm going to go with more of the mauve sort of lilac-y, purple -y tones because I think that would be really nice with um, I mean, blue eyes and um, these tones complement very nicely as well if you have green eyes and brown eyes. So it, this makeup look will work with any eye colour uh, and really make them look beautiful. So I'm going to go in first with, a, with just a fluffy brush and I'm going to use uh, what I'll do. I can't remember all without taking them all out of the palette. Uh, I will list down below the order that I do it in and the colour that I used. Okay, so it just makes it easier because I know some of them off by heart, but some of them I just don't. So I'm going to use the very, very pale pinky tone there. And we're going to wash that all over the lid, right up to the brow bone. Okay, so that gives us a really nice kind of base now to lay down the other shadows that are gonna really make them last longer. And that's the key that you want for your bridal look. You want it to last all day. So layering is the key. Now I'm gonna take another fluffy brush and I'm going to use a little bit of uh, hoax first just to define the crease. I really like hoax. It's a color that suits all skin tones. And I now have kind of a drooping here. It's a, this is age, it's gonna be coming in. So I'm going to focus a little bit more here uh, and instead of kind of the normal when you're doing a, 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 a V in the eye is you'll just do a V like this. So what you want to do when you're slightly, you've got hooded eye or you're slightly hooded eye is you just want to come up a little bit higher and just make a number seven. Can you see there just making a number seven? So you're coming down there. A backward seven so your highest point is there and then it's coming across like so 
I hope you can see that. So I'm going to keep going with that, mapping that out to give my eyes a bit of elevation here. Okay, so now, as you can see, I've got the elevation that I need here. And I'm now going to take a slightly darker colour, which is like this blueberry. Is it called blueberry or blackberry? Blackberry. <laughs> blackberry. Just going to take that just a little bit more here. Just a little bit of definition. Here, I'm just creating the definition. Now, the more you lay down different eyeshadows, the more length, length, <laughs> I can't get my words out today. The more length, <laughs> longevity. The more, uh, do you know what? The more longer you let your, ma <laughs> the more longer your eye makeup's gonna last. Oh. As you can see, the lilacs are all coming together now. And I'm gonna now pop on. I don't know. Where See, I don't like wearing shimmers myself, personally, just because I don't... I, I have really crepey eyelids for someone who's only 36. And um, I just don't like highlighting them, but for you guys, I will do it. And I'm going to pop on this beautiful... This is, uh, is it Trax, this one's called. And it has flecks of gold in so green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, it's just going to pick up any warm tones in your eye and it's just going to give that beautiful glow. The Charlotte Tilbury, the classic eye powder pencil in the shade, I have no idea, but it's brown. I think it's Audrey, I think. Um, th these are absolute game changers. I love this eye pencil. You put it on and it goes into this beautiful powder. Um, now I'm using a brown and I think a brown's a lovely soft colour to use on any bride. Young or old, doesn't matter. This is such a beautiful um, shade to use just to uh, keep everything so natural and classic and very, very Which that's what you want to be on your wedding day. Now I'm gonna just uh, tight line as well. Look away if you're squeamish. Done it now. You come back now. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go in a little bit more in the corner there. And I always recommend my brides to always get their eyelashes tinted. You will if you don't do it as a regular recourse, and you have it done. The difference it makes to your eye is unreal. Uh, and it's the best kind of eight pound, eight, 10 pounds that you'll spend to get a really pretty look. Now I've just kind of scribbled that along the lash line and then up a little bit, kind of winged it. And I'm gonna take a kind of small ended brush. And I'm just gonna give that a little buff along to diffuse that out. But what's so nice about these pencils is that it kind of, does a lot of that hard work for you. It's transferring it underneath there. But it does a lot of that hard work for you. Should I go back to my skin? Yeah, let's go back to the skin. Now I'm using um, MAC Pro Longwear. Uh, this is an oldie. You're gonna find in this tutorial some really old products that for me are what I call my fail safe. These ones, I know they work, I know they do their job, um, they give the results exactly what I want. I'm using it. Okay, so I'm taking a if you have blue or very dark Around the eyes. I'm just taking a uh, This is NW30 No, NW25 actually that I'm just taking around now the bluer that you are or the darker that you are underneath the more orangey you need to go Don't be frightened to use an orange lipstick before now, especially on my Asian brides, um, an orange lipstick works really well. So I'm just going to take that now and blend. Now remember, with the with the prolong wear, you must blend quickly, very quickly with it. It sets down, and that's it. That's what it's going to do. It's going to stay there. So I'm just taking this right underneath. Now, going back in now with the other one, I'm using NW20, 
uh, just to obviously I can't go around with orange under my eyes so and then you take your natural now I'm going to do a bit of spot concealing with this as well all right now that's all done I'm now going to set using the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder this is a beautiful hydrating powder that I found if you have quite dry skin it's just lovely so let's go underneath now now the, the shades that you used now remember if you've got a hooded eye you want to just keep everything on the outer corner don't take it right in at all you're going to make your eyes look smaller and all that hard work that you've done on the top you're just going to counteract it all so take a nice little brush the camera is making some weird noises take a nice little brush and go back in again with the hoax and the blackberry so your darker shades let's just keep it all on the outer corner don't go any further in than that any further in the third of the eye stay there don't go any further in okay in the shade bow this is a lovely flesh tone pencil and just take that in the waterline before you put your mascara on because it catches on all the lashes and I, oh, I can't stand eye pencil mixing into, especially a light colour. It just does not look nice. It looks nasty. Right, so let's curl our lashes. I'm just using the Shure Amura one. I'm just using the real um, mascara. So, oh, eyes are done for me now. I think that's a kind of as far as I'm going to go. And now I'm going to go on to my skin. So uh, on, on a beautiful summer's wedding day, you want to look bronzed and glowing and gorgeous. So I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star. Is it Film Star? Yeah, bronze and glow. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. It's such a beautiful bronzer. Now we're going to bronze. So when we bronze, it's the three here. We're not contouring, we're bronzing. I think for my wedding day, I don't want to look like a Barbie. I want to look like a bronze goddess. So we're going to steer clear of the contouring and we're going to bronze. If you want to contour, go for it. You know, each to their own. But for me, on your wedding day, you want to look sculpted, but you don't want to look plastic. You want to look real. So remember, you're going to look on these photos for hopefully the rest of your life. So don't make mistakes in wearing very high trend makeup looks. And contouring is a high trend. What am I looking for that for? Contouring is a high trend makeup look at the moment. Um, so just keep that in mind. I will first put on a liquid highlighter, which is not been sat in the sun and pop that down here and now and then I always go cream and then powder on top and that helps to last longer so we'll just put on the cream blusher as well which I'm using Illamasqua's Laid you just want you really want the fat your fan brush which goes like that squishes you know it goes like that that's a fan brush or in the old days it was called the skunk brush don't ask me why um, and you want to be very very gentle and delicate when you put this on you don't want to load your face with loads of highlighter otherwise you're just going to look like a disco ball and that's not a desired look that's not a good look for your end day maybe a, a party but not that so let's be nice and gentle just taking it over where you've already put it so this is the lip cheat reshape resize lip liner in pillow talk this is now my number one bridal shade that i'll be using on all my brides <laughs> this uh, summer so look out if you're one of my brides so i'm going to use because it is the perfect you saying that word it is spot on the best lip color lip color <laughs> so block that off reapply it again and then i'm taking max little clear 
clear gloss because I think this colour doesn't need anything else. It's so beautiful, apart from just a little pat of gloss. So these are just the uh, the amazing Shine Lash um, ones that I have, and they kind of fan out in the middle. Now, really, if you have a hooded eye, you need to go for a eyelash that starts off small in the inner corner and then works it out to be longer on the outer corner so it elevates the corner of the eye okay so there you have it a beautiful purple purpley lilac-y smoky eye fresh dewy skin a very natural radiant look um, I really enjoyed doing this I hope you enjoyed watching and if you have any questions below please um, leave me a comment and if there's anything else that you'd like to see um, in this bridal kind of series, leave me a comment and uh, I will get back to you and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.